have a lot of bees. Nine colonies of bees now. But anyway, what I want to do today is uh, build some frames, some deeps. I'm uh, going to do a little experiment because I'm using wired wax foundation and I don't want to wire them up for support. But I do want to make sure they're straight, so I'm going to try something different. This box here is a nuke that I installed three weeks ago. And they should have that bottom brood chamber filled up now. So it might be time to add a second story to them. All I want to do really is make sure they don't swarm and have enough room. So that's what I'm going to do today. Bees all the way across. Let's see how full they are. Oh, they're really drawing this out well. Nectar all over the place there. We've got larva all the way on this outside frame. So we are full from side to side on this colony. So I definitely want to go up now. It's time to build some frames and add a second story here. All right, for my frame building, I use an air compressor. I use one and a half inch staples. See, the long ones. I use Gorilla wood glue. Um, I actually prefer Loctite 3, but this is kind of starting to harden up a little bit, so I want to use it up. I use an old brush. I also use, da, da, da. we'll get into this in a little bit, oh Jesus, everything's falling. I also use these small half inch staples because I'm going to put, be putting in a uh, wired wax foundation, a little angle iron that comes in handy to make sure you have a nice vertical sides. Okay, these frames are wedge top frames. These are meant to accommodate uh, wax foundation, hooked wax foundation. So what I'm going to do is remove the wedges. This part right here is the wedge. You'll see it gives a little bit. So what you can do, simply take a razor, come on in. And out it comes. Set it aside. Don't lose these. These are very important. Now it's time for the wax. I use hooked wax foundation. I'm going to need 10 sheets for this box. Now the thing is, no one's ever shown me how to do this. I've only seen this on videos. I've done it before. Frankly, I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, but the bees seem to like what I'm making. So the first thing I'm going to do is change out my staples, these one and a half inch ones, for half inch staples. So what you do, dun, 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 is you take frame. I slide into the into the bottom uh, the bottom notch here first. It makes it easier doing it this way than it does stapling the top first. So we get that in. Hooks are down here at the bottom. 
take one of your wedges. I like to put the, the little lip here from where it was attached. I like to put that up against the edge, the inside. Bring it down. Press it nice and tight. Get it in here. Staple it in place. Hold them firm. I use three. So that's kind of that. You kind of want to make sure these wires are over this bottom hole. But the issue is if you look, you can see the holes. It's bowing this way. See how it's bowing there? Even if I get it in the slot, it still kind of wants to not be on center, especially over on this side. So I have a trick. Bobby pins! So what I'm going to do is come in through these holes and grip the, the wax. Coming through and dun dun dun. So as you can see the pin slides right over the foundation. It will keep it lined up with these holes. So let's keep going. I'm just going to make sure these are flush. It's real important to take this step because you don't want your comb to be wavy. Or you'll have trouble taking things apart later on. So now as you can see, the comb is straight up and down through the middle of the frame. On both sides. That's it. That's how I do it. Done.